The playoff dream of Atlanta United is now officially over. Welcome to your favorite online soccer show, the Atlanta News Weekly Report. We will again examine the hottest and most talked about soccer stories in Atlanta, Georgia, and nearby areas for the past week. On Wednesday, we started the week on a good note as Walker Zimmerman increased his global profile since the September window. That's a challenging claim because, aside from former New England Revolution goalkeeper Matt Turner, maybe no US player stood out during a 2-0 loss to Japan and a 0-0 draw with Saudi Arabia. But the star of Nashville SC, who played the full 90 minutes in both games, appears firmly established as the USMNT's top centre-back. Who will play alongside Zimmerman against England, Iran, and Wales in Group B is more of a concern, Chris Richards of Crystal Palace may be the most likely candidate, though he missed this September's camp to injury. Zimmerman made his debut for the United States in January 2017 against Jamaica. In 2019, he was selected in the squad that finished runners-up in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. He was also a squad member that won the tournament in 2021, starting all three group stage matches before leaving the game due to a hamstring injury. On Thursday, we learned that two players of Atlanta United played well for Venezuela in its 4-0 win over the United Arab Emirates on September 27 in Austria. Defensive specialist Roland Hernandez got the start right back, and striker Joseph Martinez came off the bench to score a goal for his team in their win. For Venezuela, Hernandez has made 30 appearances and has contributed one goal and three assists. During the most recent cycle, he participated in 11 of Venezuela's 16 World Cup qualifiers and assisted in two of those contests. Martinez has 61 appearances in his career for Venezuela and has 13 goals and 3 helpers. On Friday, we learned that Atlanta United used the international FIFA break to concentrate on their needs. They have been focusing on finishing as one of their skills. Atlanta United has had numerous scoring opportunities throughout the last two games but has only managed to score once. That goal came in Atlanta's 1-0 victory over Orlando City SC at Exploria Stadium. I think we just have to have more confidence, more confidence in what we're doing, and more confidence in all of our teammates because we have players in those positions who are very capable," midfielder Mateus Rossetto said. Therefore, in practice, the team is focused on attack, quickening play, and emphasizing converting their chances. Players attempt to score by utilizing the opportunities and locations they have been placed in. Atlanta United had six shots, but none were on goal, so the game ended in a 0-0 draw. Pineda wanted to give his players more playing time and stress being more clinical in the last third as the season neared its conclusion, so they would be rewarded for their opportunities. The past two weeks, we've been working on us and the principles that we want to do, how we want to play, trying to be sharper in certain things, especially in both boxes. That's what we are working on, Pineda said. Atlanta United had good defensive performances in the previous two games against two teams that are now above the playoff line. Atlanta also had two straight shutouts, defeating Philadelphia Union on September 17 and Orlando City SC on September 14. Atlanta United limited the supporters' shield contenders to their lowest projected season goals in the scoreless draw with Philadelphia, 0.16. Raul Godino, the starting goalie, shares some credit for that defensive accomplishment. Godino, a 26-year-old veteran with international experience with Mexico's men's national team, has impressed his head coach with his ability to solidify the back line. Pineda added that Godino has been a vocal leader and has demonstrated times when he can slow down and read the game well, as evidenced by the save of the month for September that he made against Orlando City to preserve the team's clean sheet. The back line has also benefited from consistency. Pineda fielded the same starting lineup against Philadelphia for the third straight game. Growing familiarity has aided the goalie in the defender's effective team play, particularly in the back line. Although Godino has been excellent in goal, 
Pineda thinks the consecutive clean sheets were achieved by everyone from the number 9 goalkeeper on up. I think we just need to continue to do what we've been doing in the past few games, working well both offensively and defensively. For me, it's about being prepared for however many saves I have to make, Gadino said. The identity Pineda wants his team to embody is still attempting to play on the front foot and create more chances than the opposition, even though he has been pleased with that defensive effort. On Tuesday, we learned that the year's end awards nominations have come. The MLS end of year awards received their first round of nominations last week. Atlanta United has seven players on the list and ten nominees. Thiago Almada tops the list for the five stripes. The Argentine midfielder garnered three nominations, the most of any Atlanta player, including Landon Donovan, MLS Most Valuable Player in 2022. In addition, the 21-year-old is up for Young Player of the Year. Almada was just ranked second on the Body Armor 22 Under 22 list. Caleb Wiley, a 17-year-old Atlanta United homegrown defender, is also nominated in the Young Player category. As a designated player, Almada joined Atlanta United in February. He presently leads Atlanta United in assists, 11, and ranks third on the team in goals scored in his first MLS season, 6. He shares the nomination for Newcomer of the Year with Juanjo Pirata, who joined the team on loan from Tigres UNAL and has 6 goals this season. Voting is open from September 30th to October 10th. Voting for the winners will be done by current players, club technical staff, and media representatives. The finalists will be revealed on October 9th. From October 9th to November 4th, the league will gradually disclose the winners. Voting for the AT&T MLS Goal of the Year and MLS Save of the Year presented by Allstate will take place on MLSsoccer.com from October 12th to 14th. The following is a list of every nominee for Atlanta. Landon Donovan MLS Most Valuable Player, Tiago Almada. Comeback Player of the Year, Santiago Sosa. Newcomer of the Year, Tiago Almada, Juanjo Purata. Defender of the Year, Miles Robinson. Young Player of the Year, Tiago Almada, Caleb Wiley. All-State MLS Goalkeeper of the Year, Brad Guzan. MLS Works Humanitarian of the Year, Andrew Gutman. CG Schmid MLS Coach of the Year, Gonzalo Pineda. This week's soccer stories are just mind-boggling and one of a kind. Thank you so much for watching our episode this week. Always make it a habit to watch our show on YouTube and other social media channels. Aside from our show, make it a habit to visit our website https colon slash slash atlantazocicere.news for the latest and hottest soccer news in Atlanta and its surrounding areas. If you love our show, make it a point to like, comment, and share this with your family and friends. COVID-19 remains a threat, so don't forget to get vaccinated. Always keep yourself safe, guys. Goodbye for now.